So Halo 3 is popular again, and you want to be one of the cool kids playing, but for whatever reason, you suck. Like, really bad. You maybe played back in the day, you were decent, but you never felt the need to go Super Saiyan try hard. Maybe you've never played before, and you're wondering why you are a dumpster fire when you've been good at other FPS games. What gives? Why is Halo 3 quote unquote so hard? Well sit back, grab your notebooks, and let's take a look at a few ways to make you a better Halo player. Halo 3 is a projectile weapon based game as opposed to hit scan like in Halo 5 or basically any other FPS game you've played aside from like Battlefield. That means that you need to compensate for the travel time of your bullets leading your shot just a little bit will help you win more gunfights. It's simple to learn, but can prove difficult to master. A way to capitalize on this is for your movement to be somewhat erratic against your opponents. And strafing is one of your best friends. You need to learn it well. That being said, you need to learn to use the battle rifle or the BR. It's what's gonna be in your hands in most games. The trick is to aim at the body, then finish with the head. But Hollow, why would you do that? Aren't headshots the fastest way to take out an enemy? Yeah, but with the projectile system, you might miss those precious bullets connecting with the smaller target with the head. So the tip here is to aim for center mass for three trigger pulls and then finish with the last burst on the head. Remember, it can take six to seven bursts with all body shots, but you eliminate a ton of time by getting that last burst on the head. And once again, lead your shots. The next tip is to learn how to throw nades. This is an easy thing to learn it just takes practice. You need to learn the angles and the distance and how to combo the grenade with your gun, and you're gonna be way better off. Nades are a great opener to a 1v1. Take your opponent's shield down with a nade, then finish with a burst to the head. Another extremely useful tip is to look down when you run away. Hiding your head will keep you alive, hopefully long enough to get around that corner you are racing for. You will see high skilled players do this often when retreating from an unwinnable gunfight. Remember, staying alive is equally important as getting kills. Use your teammates. In a game that is fairly team oriented, learning how to use a teammate is important. Even if you aren't on comms with them, there are a few things you can do without actually speaking to someone in game. In a gunfight you can't win, check where a teammate is on the map and lead the enemy into an unsuspecting trap. Picking off an enemy with two people is way easier than fighting by yourself, especially if you aren't a good player. Learn the weapon spawns and the timers. You will have an easier time controlling the map and gaining power-ups if you have a good estimate of the next time a weapon or invis or overshield pops up again. This also means you need to learn the maps, know the sight lines, go into custom games, explore the map. Knowing the weapon spawns and power-ups and timers are so important and can give you a huge advantage. Don't play hyper-aggressive. If you're watching this video, you probably aren't a pro, so don't try to play like one. Learn your strengths and use that to your advantage. Learning how to maximize your effectiveness with positioning and outsmarting your opponent is almost as important as having a good shot. Don't just spawn up and run back to where you died. Chances are you're just gonna get lit up again. That being said, never move in a straight line. You need to make it hard for your enemy to keep their reticle on you. Strafe, jump, crouch, you just need to move around. Becoming a harder target for your enemy to hit is one of the best things you can do in any FPS. That's it for the basics. If you guys want more advanced tips and tricks, let me know in the comments down below. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, all that jazz. I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.